presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, after Jungle Jim rescued Polo from the angry crocodile, they made for the shore to repack. Suddenly, they heard tom-toms and dance rhythms. Kolo warned Jim it was the dance of the cannibal headhunters just before starting out on a hunt. Meanwhile, back at the plantation, the French-Canadian overseer Lava, by lashing the natives with his whip, attempted to locate the thief who stole his knife. But the fat woman performed the ordeal of poison and got the desired confession. She was delighted at the chance to show her magical power and so bring the natives even more under her control. That night, Loki and Mamba, the guides, attempted to kill the Reverend Chalmers and his daughter Lynn. But Lynn fired through the tent and killed Loki. Mamba ran away. These thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Now we continue the story. Jungle Jim and Kolo stand transfixed by the menacing rhythm of the tom-tom. Come on, Jim. Huh? What'd you say, Kolo? Better we get away from here, Come on, Jim. Muro headhunter come this way. Mm, where can we go? If we get out in the river, they're sure to see us. And we'll only take one of their poison darts to put an end to either one of us. Yes, it's one, Jim. Muro man shoot straight and far with dark blowers. Gosh, I can remember as a kid using my pea shooter with fairly successful results. But these bush natives are champions, and they aren't fooling. We can't use the canoe for a getaway. What shall we do? Better we hide in trees. I guess that's all we can do. Come, Kolo. First, let's hide the canoe in the reeds and palms here. Yes, each one. Kolo will help. We haven't any too much time either. Come on, push. Mm. We'll get this put out of sight, and we'll take care of ourselves. We mustn't find our canoe, or we will be in a bad spot. Yes, each one. Jungle plenty thick here. Hard to find way. There, now. I think that'll be far enough. Now take out our guns and all our ammunition. We may need it before we get out of here. Yes, each one. To think we were sympathizing with the Reverend Chalmers. Maybe he's safer where he is. All the neuro men may be out on this sort of expedition. Mm. Neuro men never leave neuro country. Well, they have now. You can hear them for yourself. Have you got everything we need to defend ourselves with? Yes, each one, Jim. Good. Now pull those palm branches down over the hole we made in the foliage. Kolo do, Twan. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to break off this branch to mark the spot. We don't want to lose track of the hiding place ourselves. Juan Jim, can see where canoe drag. By Joe, so you can. Lucky thing you saw that, Colo. Here, take this branch and smooth out the track of the sand. Neuro man, still dance, Juan. Yes, I hear them. How long will the dance last, Colo? Dance lasts until darkness. Well, it's almost dark now. What's the idea of this dance, anyway? Hunters dance after the edge they want. Uh, God give them good hunt. Hmm, after they see the heads they want, eh? Well, looks like we're elected, Kolo. Kolo, no one understands one. Mm, I mean, I guess we're the heads they're celebrating for. Mm. They must have seen us coming along the river. Yes, each one. Well, if I can pull off the little trick I have in mind, we'll get a few heads to our credit before we lose our own. What we do, Quan Chin? In boxing, Kolo, the secret of success is to get the first blows in. And that goes for any other kind of fighting, too. Make the first attack. Carry the fight to the enemy. And if you can surprise him with a rush, the battle's yours. Juan Jim, we're not going to attack headhunters. That's just what we're going to do, Kolo. Come on, bring that ammunition and let's go. Up at the plantation, the Batwoman is worried. She hits the big Chinese gong hanging by the door of the house and impatiently strides up and down the porch. Yes, Missy? Where's Laba? Him eat, Missy. Again? <laughs> that ox is always eating. Send him out here. Yes, Missy. Do I know Missy wants me. What do you want, boss? I sent for you, didn't I? All right, boss. No use for to get mad. Just Laba only asked for to make sure. What do you want, boss? I'm worried. What you worry for, boss? Everything goes smooth like ice. Yes, thin ice, and I've no intention of letting it break under my feet. What you mean, boss? Nothing like that going for to happen. I'm not so sure. 
You never can tell when a native will turn on us. Oh, after that poison hack you pull off, they all watch their step round here. Ha, 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 ha. By God, every time they see you come, they bow straight to the ground in front of you. Yes, see, Missy. Yes, see, Missy. Ha, 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 ha. You no need for to worry about this black rascal. Oh, I know Eru and Wallier and the other boys won't start anything around here. They've reacted to the poison ordeal just as I thought they would. But it's Loki and Mamba I'm worried about. Why for, boss? That Loki, she managed to pull wool over missionary hives again? By car, I never think Loki, she able to do that. That's what bothers me, Laba. I told him to see that the Reverend Chalmers got one of our boys to guide him. And instead, when you and I flew Mamba down to Burawani, we found Loki himself had started up this way with the missionary. There we boss. How do we know what that means? Is he bringing Chalmers here as our prisoner? Or is he betraying us to us? That's what Mamba find out for us, boss. That's why you see that Mamba guide that girl. You mean that was my plan? Wait. How's it working? That's what bothers me. Mamba and Loki would have sent up a rocket when they'd done their work. But we haven't seen it yet. No, that's true, boss. But maybe they don't get chance to pull off the job yet. Maybe they've turned against us. Maybe they've become converted by that psalm singer. By God, I know think of that, boss. Well, that's all I've been able to think of. I can't stand it suspense any longer. Come on, Lubber. Where we go, boss? Have you kept the gasoline tank full in the plane? May we, boss. That tank, she all time full up. Good. We'll come along. Ah, I see you've got the plane turned around and all ready to take off. May we. But where do we go, boss? Get into the plane. Okay, boss. Let's go. Now, we're going to fly over the camp of the missionary and see if we can learn what's happening. Meanwhile, Jungle Jim and Colo are making their way toward the celebrating cannibals. Careful now, Colo. We don't want them to see us yet. No, Twan. We can see New Roman's fire now. Yes, and the figure is dancing around it. They must be getting themselves worked up to the proper pitch. New Roman waits for a sign from God. God must say, good hunt. Then New Roman put out fire and capture head. Oh, I see. Waiting for a sign from their gods, eh? Yes, yes Twan. If the sign is good, they'll hunt the head. If the sign is bad, they'll give up the hunt. Is that it? Yes, he Tuan Jim. Oh, you've given me an idea. A great idea. What, Tuan Jim? The neural men are going to get a sign, all right. It'll be bad for them and good for us. How Tuan knows? Tuan knows because he's going to give them the sign. How you make signs, Tuan Jim? Just wait till we get a little closer. Now, Tuan Jim? No. Wait until we get still closer. Now, Tuan Jim. Looking. What have they got that white paint on their faces for? Neuro man dressed up faces when dancing before hunting, Twan. Bring good hunting. Uh, is that so? We'll soon see about that. What you do, Twan Jim? Better you hurry. Neuro man, see us. No more chance to do anything. You're telling me. Here, hold my gun while I take off my neckerchief. Yes, Twan. Now, pour that box of cartridges into my neckerchief. Yes, Go oh, ahead, pour the whole box in. Twan Jim, you need bang bang gun to save us. Do as I say, Colo. Pour some more cartridges into my neckerchief. Yes, he's one. Yeah, that's enough. Now, Colo, will those boys keep on dancing like that until they get the signal from the guards, or will they stop and wait for the time? They stop dance, Juan Jim. Good. And when they stop, Colo, we'll start. I'm going to throw these cartridges into their fire. camp of the Reverend Chalmers, the would-be murderer, Mamba, who has escaped Lynn's pistol fire, regains his courage at the thought of all the promised gold now belonging to him. He stands off in the trees watching the missionary and Lynn Chalmers. Then he cuts his way through the back of the tent and enters it. 
Unaware of the impending danger, father and daughter survey the scene. Dad, look. Hey, where, lady? On the ground over there. Something shining in the moonlight. I say, two gold pieces. Somebody bribed Loki and Namba to kill us, Dad. Yes, you must be right, my dear. And that somebody is the leader of this new cult. Who is the leader? That's the question. And that's what I'm going to find out. Listen. An airplane. It's flying low over it, but I can't see it. It has many lights on. Yes, that must be the big black seaplane that flew over this way just before you arrived, Len. They're mixed up in this somehow. Probably they're wondering how their scheme to do away with us works. There it is, crossing the path of the moon. Yes. Well, whoever it is can see me waving at them. Stand here in the moonlight with me, Dad. We'll show them we're perfectly whole and safe. Oh, I should have mistrusted Loki when he came back to me. His master must have sent him to get me to rehire him. I recall now that he was particularly curious as to whether I carried a gun or not. Well, it's a good thing I brought this pistol. And that rifle we have in the tent. It is indeed, my dear. Well, I just put these gold pieces in my wallet. They'll come in handy as evidence. Look, they're brand new, fresh from the mint. Daddy, look, his body. Eh? It's gone. What? Why, bless my soul, for it has. Lynn, the other guide is somewhere about. I'll go and get a rifle from the tent. <laughs> Lynn! Oh, my daughter. Tenderly lowering the unconscious girl to the ground, the missionary races to the tent. As he reaches it, Mamba brings the butt of the rifle through the flap oh! and knocks the reverend senseless. Then, swinging the limp form of the minister across his shoulders, Mamba, the treacherous guide, trots into the jungle. Dawn, Jungle Jim, and Kolo spy the missionary's camp. There's a camp, Kolo. It must be the Reverend Charmer. Maybe, Swan Jim. No see anybody. Hello! Hello there! No answer. That's funny. Camp looks like no one there, Swan. Battle harder, Kolo. There may be trouble over there. What will Jungle Jim find at the apparently deserted camp? What has happened to Lynn Chalmers? The very same adventure you have just heard can be seen in full-color action pictures in next Sunday's Comic Weekly, distributed with all Hearst Sunday newspapers. In addition to Jungle Jim and Colo, you will find many other fascinating characters of the picture world. Toots and Casper, the Captain Yammer Kid, Bringing Up Father, Skippy, Barney Google, and many others. Also a new group of colored poster stamps for your collection. All of these interesting educational and entertaining features are to be found in next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week at the same time for a continuation of these exciting adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>